Hello, my name is Jay. Over the last couple months, I've done extensive research on graphics card prices, what's causing them to be so high, and when to expect them to be down. Now, I've been making a lot of videos claiming that probably within the first couple months of 2018, graphics card prices will come down, and I wanted to make this video to explain exactly why that is, and also some of it what is causing these high prices. Now, I'm not going to sugarcoat this, I'm not going to draw it out to the end of the video. That's not my style. I know a lot of YouTubers like to just draw it out and just for reviews. Here's it's plain and simple it's cryptocurrency, and that's what it's always been. Now, I wanted to also take this video to talk about you know, what's causing it to be so expensive. So there's only so many graphics cards out there, right? And obviously, I have a special big stake in this because I'm planning on getting another graphics card for an SLI. And so, you know, I've been concerned, hey, when can I get another graphics card that will be, you know, cheap like the prices I got this one for? Which, funny enough, this graphics card is uh, sky high, as usual, for any graphics card out there. 1080 Ti Founders Edition is, not only is the Founder Edition extremely hard to find, but a 1080 Ti, for under like two thousand dollars is hard to find as well and that's simply because somebody came out and they posted a whole bunch of lists of all the different things that are good for graph like mining uh, ethereum in particular they're good for mining and they've said like you make eight hundred dollars with a 1080 ti and then that's why all the 1080 ti's are sky high and you basically get the point is people are just trying to buy into this now you're probably sitting here going well when can we expect relief well i've got good news for you if anything happens similar somewhat similar to the bitcoin market which all currencies do um, there's never been a currency that hasn't you know gone through hyperinflation and then failed um, afterwards so this never happened in history and I would argue that it's you know it's most likely going to repeat itself again on ethereum I don't know when hopefully this year but basically when that happens the price of graphics cards will also fall as well now the best thing I can recommend for now if you're out there looking to get a graphics card now the best thing I recommend is just get a something a really low quality one that wasn't hit too well like maybe a 1050 Ti it's a good graphics card still got a little bit you know it's pretty cheap and it's not you know such a big issue you can save your money for getting when the prices come back now so basically people they the graphics cards are just really good for running these programs and so pretty much why people have gone through and bought all of these is simply just to put them on a system and just have plain graphics cards running these you know calculations um, basically verifying that you know currency went from one account user to another account user and basically just switch all is all around and that's exactly why graphics cards are so prized right now is simply because of the fact that they're really good at that and obviously just the kind of programs and uh, actions you'd expect in like games which you, they use that for um, are kind of the same thing you need in purchases and that's why they need to be super fast and super efficient what they do and graphics cards like I know for Bitcoin people have gone out and actually made uh, machines that are not graphics cards specifically for um, you know mining Bitcoin and I think it would be a good idea for someone to come up here and make something that's better than graphics cards at you know going through and mining ethereum because that would make the graphics card that would make obviously you would make a lot of money because everybody would pay for that it was cheaper and especially it would take the stress off the graphics card market and put it on your market which of course you'd make a whole lot of money off of if you did enjoy this video to please give it a thumbs up and of course share it with friends if everybody asks this because I've made a bunch of videos explaining like hey 2018 beginning of 2018 there should be a little bit of a price drop simply because um, you know Samsung was supposed to amp up production of a bunch of graphics card components there's a long list and everybody's going well why did you um why, why is that wrong you're wrong and I'm like well it's kinda hard when you're out three months out which I think I made the video in October to say hey we have looking at what we have available to us we have a Samsung saying they're gonna produce DRAM um, a bunch of and Nvidia saying they're amping up production all that stuff all these things that these companies have said and looking at the results at the time I was able to make that prediction and now you look at the prediction there was no way to know Ethereum was pretty much gonna go blow up now obviously if you look at Bitcoin it's shot up and it's starting to go back down a little bit not not like fall but kinda level out there is a chance that we might see that as well in Ethereum. So just keep in mind that you probably want to wait it out a little bit, and then when it starts falling, um, a lot of graphics card people start selling, trying to think that it's going to be bad or you know going to fall out or something. So that might be a good time to get a graphics card. And the other thing I'd recommend is don't get um, a graphics card used because the um, miners uh, amp up the overclock it extremely high so that it's kind of dangerous to get something that might break in a week or two but it will be mean that the new cards will have less competition and if you're up for it and it's a really cheap card then you might actually be worth it to grab that maybe under like 300 bucks for a 1080 that's what I'm thinking 
um, that's what you're probably looking at right there. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and uh, thank you all for watching. Check out my channel for the other tech-related stuff, and uh, hope to see you guys around. Thank you.